Hello students, in today's class, let us discuss about Borazol. Okay, it is a new concept and we will discuss two main uh, structures in this unit that is uh, Diborane and Borazol. Okay, Borazol is otherwise called as Borazin and its uh, uh, general formula is B3N3H6. It is a molecular formula of Borazin. Okay, Borazin. So, now if you have the uh, structure of Borazin, you can see alternative BH and H units are present. So, you can observe three BH units and three NH units. Okay. And inside the ring, you can observe alternate double bonds. Okay. That means uh, uh, aromatic compounds will exhibit alternate double bonds. Similar way, similar to the benzene, if you observe benzene ring, you can observe clearly C6H6 is a general formula of benzene. So, inside benzene also, you can observe alternate double bonds. Okay, that means borazol structure is similar to the benzene. Okay, and the structure is similar and you can observe same number of electrons in the structure. And both are isoelectronic in nature. That means we can say how many bonds are present inside the benzene. Those many bonds are present in borazol. You can clearly observe that uh, totally you are having how many single bonds? These uh, six hydrogen bonds, six and along with inside you have 6 sigma bonds, totally 12 sigma bonds and 3 double bonds, 3 pi bonds, 3 pi bonds and 12 sigma bonds. Here in benzene also you can observe 12 sigma bonds and 3 pi bonds. So totally the number of electrons, the number of bonds are similar, we can say that number of electrons will be similar. So they are isoelectronic in nature. So as borazol is exhibiting isostructural nature and isoelectronic nature with benzene, it is called as inorganic benzene. Okay, it is similar to the benzene but it does not consist of carbon inside. So already we know organic compounds are nothing but compounds which consist of carbon as a main element. But in, inside this borazol, we cannot observe any carbon, carbon element. Hence we can say this as inorganic benzene, not organic benzene. Okay. So, this is just an introduction part of borazine or borazol. Let us see the preparation methods. First one is the stock method. Stock method. In stocks method, we will take diborane and with this diborane is treated with excess of ammonia at 200 degrees centigrade to produce borazine or borazol. Okay, I am taking uh, 3 molecules of diborane. It is treated with the 6 molecules of ammonia. At 200 degrees centigrade, that is high temperature, we are taking a more amount of ammonia than diborane. Okay. So, both are reacting with each other and producing two molecules of borazol or borazin. Okay. We are getting 12 hydrogens as 12 hydrogen molecules as a byproduct here. Okay. So, this is about Stokes method. Let us see next methods of preparation of borazol. Coming to the next method of preparation. Okay, in this method of preparation, I will take the boron trichloride and ammonium chloride. I heat them both and it produces trichloroborazole as a product. And this trichloroborazole upon reduction with sodium borohydride produces borazole as a product. So, let us see this. So, I am taking ammonium chloride 3 molecules. I am taking uh, 3 molecules of boron trichloride. Both are reacting on heating produces trichloroborazole. trichloroborazole. And uh, we can clearly observe three hydrogens in this borazol are uh, replaced with chlorine. So, we can call it as a trichloroborazol. And along with this, we are getting uh, hydrochloric acid as a byproduct. Now, I am taking this trichloroborazol. To this, I am adding sodium, bi sodium borohydride, which is a reducing agent. So, it, what it will do? It replaces this uh, three chlorine atoms and adds three hydrogen atoms to this. So, it produces b 3 and 3 h 6 so, we are here, three hydrogens are there. So, they are changing into six hydrogens. So, addition of hydrogens so or substitution of hydrogens takes place in this reaction. It is called as a reduction process. Along with this, we are getting diborane and sodium chloride as byproducts. Okay. So, next coming to third method of preparation that is, I am taking lithium borohydride and ammonium chloride. At 230 degrees, I heat them both, I will get borazol as a product. This is one of the important laboratory method. We will prepare the borazol by using this method. Okay. So, I am taking ammonium chloride, 3 molecules of ammonium chloride and 3 molecules of lithium borohydride at 230 degrees centigrade. I will get borazol as a product 
and along with this I'll get lithium chloride as a byproduct and nine hydrogen molecules as byproducts. Okay, so these are the methods of preparation of borazole. Okay, thank you so much for watching.